Hey there, Jenna here. Welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of unique homes and showcase stories of people living alternatively. Have you ever wanted to just take off and hit the road in a retro VW bus? Well, in today's video, we're gonna meet a couple who not only did just that, but also figured out a way to work full-time on the road. Nowadays, more and more people are working from home, so why not take your home with you and work anywhere? We really have gotten this value of time and we're in love with that. If you like these kind of videos, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time I publish a new tour. But right now, let's take a tour of this vintage VW bus and full-time home on the road. Hi, I'm Hunter. I'm Hannah. And this is Luna, our 1974 VW bus. We've always been aware since the van life hashtag has been coined that something was going on and that there was a movement you know, happening outdoors. But I don't think it was ever something that really was actually accessible to us because our jobs weren't remote because of COVID and the majority of jobs going remote. That is what helped us transition into a digital nomad job. We've currently been on the road for about four months in our bus. We've owned the bus for almost two years now. We didn't initially get the bus for van life. We got it for weekend trips. Seeing other people doing the whole van life movement, we decided that we can do it in this. Like we don't need a large rig. It took us a bit to kind of make that decision that we want to go full time in such a small vehicle. I've always been a big car guy. I knew getting into van life I needed something that I was really proud of and I wanted something that I could still take to car shows. For me, that was a Volkswagen bus. Everyone knows the icon of that vehicle. It really is a symbol of van life. It's a symbol of adventure. There's a reason that people love Westfalias. You know, they're campers that were built out in the 70s and they're really the Swiss army knife of vans. Mm -hmm. So as far as us transitioning into it, we actually really didn't have to make much modifications to it. Our rig is a bit more on the camping side yeah. than maybe a Sprinter van with all full amenities, but we make it work for us. We purchased the bus for $22,000, and then we have also done about $6,000 worth of renovations, really just overall maintenance, just to make sure that it was road trip ready. All in total, we're about $28,000 into it. So welcome to the outside of Luna. Luna's a 1974 Volkswagen bus with a Westfalia conversion. That means she's got a pop top and a full camper interior. Lengthwise, Luna is about 15 feet long. When you have the pop top, you're standing around nine feet, five inches. When closed, Luna's about six foot six. So we can get into a ton of parking garages, things that are actually pretty accessible for us that wouldn't be accessible for larger vans. From an interior perspective, she's five feet, eight inches, so it's really pretty narrow in there, just like a lot of classic cars of the era. So over here on this corner of our bus, we have our gas fill up. Our gas tank is about 14 gallons in capacity, and we get 16 miles per gallon. On a full tank of gas, we can get 220 miles total. So these right here are called Jealousy windows, and they're on most Volkswagens that have a Westfalia camper conversion. We love it so much because if we open both sides, we get a really nice cross breeze on a windy day. So Luna's rocking some pretty meaty tires. We do a lot of off-roading in this bus and it's really important to make sure that we never get stuck. So we run the General Grabber all-terrain tires. They're 27 by 8.5. We get that question all the time and we love them. Volkswagen buses are actually really good off-road. Reason being is because their engine's in the back over the back drive wheel and so it keeps them extremely planted. Next, we're gonna go to our luggage rack. Our luggage rack is up here. In it, we store our go treads. Go treads are a dual purpose. So they're recovery tracks as well as levelers. We level ourselves out every single night pretty much. And then if we ever get stuck in some deep sand, we can put these underneath our wheel and we can get out of there. 
This is the front of our bus. First off the bat, one thing you'll notice is we actually changed out the old style of lighting. We went to a newer style LED lights. Another thing is we have our spare tire mounted here. We have massive tires. There's no other place to really put them inside the van. And then of course, the iconic peace sign. No Volkswagen bus is complete without a peace sign. So next we're gonna to move to the back of our van. In the back of our van or our trunk, you're gonna find our Camp Chef stove, which we use pretty much for every single meal. Our spare parts bag, because no Volkswagen is complete without a massive spare parts bag. My hiking backpack that of course I use to put our photography gear when we go on hikes. And then lastly, we have our drinking water. It's a five gallon jug, and honestly, we find it's good enough for us. We actually have another tank inside of our van that's seven gallons, but because it's 50 year old plastic, we don't actually drink from it because we don't know the quality of the plastic. This one we know is safe to drink, and honestly, by the time we have to go refill up our ice in our cooler or go to the grocery store, we refill up our five gallon. We find it's plenty enough for us. So on the left side of our trunk, we have a table that we use to set up. We have our yoga mat, you gotta have that. And then we also have my closet. In my closet, we have all of my clothes. Hannah's are stored up in the front of the van. All my clothes are packed away in packing cubes. Packing cubes are a must have for anyone living in a tiny space. So next up, we're gonna get to our engine bay. All Volkswagen buses have the engine in the back. So it's just under this rear hatch, which makes it extremely easy to work on. We have our original motor. This is the 1800cc motor from 1974 that belonged to this bus from new. It has been rebuilt. It got rebuilt around 40,000 miles ago. So it's a pretty fresh engine. We haven't had any issues with it. On the left side, we have our camp battery. Our camp battery runs a couple things in the interior. It runs our dome lights. It runs our head unit, which is our radio. Um, it runs a couple things. And we also plan at some point to start tapping into it more. We have a ton of power with this thing and there's so much more we could add. All right, so if we come around to the driver's side of our bus, something that's really interesting is we have an electrical pass-through. This came stock on our Westfalia, and so it allows you, if you're at any campsite that has RV hookups, you could plug directly in here, and then on the other side of that, you have a 110 outlet, so any appliance that you want to run, you can run directly through. All right, let's check out the inside. Welcome to the inside of Luna. This is our main living, hanging out kind of space. We have our kitchen table, couch, and most of our storage. Since we have such a small amount of storage, we make sure everything has a place and everything has at least two uses. We use jackeries for our power systems instead of running an electrical system. So we have two jackeries. That's more than enough power for what we need. And we just have a 100 watt panel that we pop outside just to charge them up. One of us can work inside and the other has the option of working outside, setting up at a camp chair, somewhere in the sun, just to be outside and have a little separation of space. Behind the couch is where we keep our cooler. We've opted out of a fridge because of minimizing the electric system. Cooler has worked great for us. We only have to fill up our ice every few days and we actually put our ice inside a dry bag so that when it melts all we have to do is dump out the water from that instead of have floating stuff in the cooler all the time. Under the bench we have a ton of extra storage where we can bring lots of gear. This couch even pulls out to a bed if we cannot sleep up top. The only reasons we don't sleep up top is if it's too cold, canvas lets in a lot of cold air, or if we have friends over and want to do a bunk bed situation. My clothing storage is down below the bench in these pull-out drawers. On top of that, I also have this cabinet that opens up. We keep some of our food here, spices, seasonings, coffee, that kind of stuff. And then anything else, we have a bag down below that keeps larger items. Directly across from our pantry, we have our sink. Our sink runs with electric power and it runs from a seven gallon tank that was built in to this whole design. It fills up really easily through this little spout right here. We just run a hose right into it and fill it up from any campsite or water source we get. All right, let's show you the bed. 
welcome to our bedroom. This is where we sleep every night. It's also where we can just kind of hang out, relax, have some time to ourselves. Sometimes I sit up here and play video games. Sometimes I'll read my books. I love that we can have these windows open to the side and it really just feels like we're tent camping. Everywhere we go, it helps us connect with nature. It is so nice to wake up in the morning and with the canvas surrounding us, you get that sound of the birds or the environment everywhere that you are. If we are camping in the city, we definitely keep the top closed. We will pull out the bottom bed, but we prefer to camp out in nature whenever we can. For a small space, it's been very comfortable as a tiny home. We've experienced more in the past four months than we ever have yeah. together, and that's completely irreplaceable. There's no more waiting for time off of work that we took two months out to be able to go on a three-day trip. Yeah. There's no more wasting days, counting the days until you get to do something cool. I think the life experience that we've gained over the last four months has been so densely packed. It really has slowed our life down. We really have gotten this value of time and we're in love with that. Thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon with another unique home tour.